Ending gender-based violence and abuse is everybody's business. COVID-19 has highlighted even more how deeply this plague affects our societies. During the lockdown, the number of cases of domestic violence have increased dramatically everywhere in the world. No country has proved immune. Where conflict and humanitarian crises ravaged countries and local communities, where gender-based violence and human trafficking continue to be a tactic or means of warfare, the pandemic has added yet another layer of vulnerability with a disproportionate impact on women and girls. During these year's 16 days of activism to end gender-based violence, I call on you to take action and speak out loudly because women and girls' rights must be respected, violence and abuse must be stopped, and impunity must be redressed. Italy's commitment in this respect is relentless. We have adopted a national strategic plan for the elimination of violence against women and a national action plan for the implementation of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda. During the pandemic, we have put in place ad hoc measures to strengthen services to victims through a widespread network of shelters and listening centers. Promotion of women's rights is a priority of Italy's foreign policy. We stand side by side with the UN and its agencies to end traditional harmful practices, practices to fully implement the Women, Peace and Security Agenda, assist victims, bring perpetrators to justice and make sure peacekeeping operations abide by the highest standards of performance and conduct in line with the UN Zero Tolerance Policy. As we reimagine together a post-pandemic world, we must place gender parity at the core of all recovery strategies. This is our commitment as we take the important responsibility of presiding the G20 in 2021. Government's engagement is crucial, but it won't be enough. We need your voice to prevent and fight abuse and violence. We need your action to defy prejudices and break glass ceilings. Together, we can make it.